<laughs> Good morning. Good morning. How are you guys this morning out here bright and early before it gets to be 9,000 degrees? Nobody can say you're not the smart guys. My name is Teresa Eman, and I am delighted to be here for my 14th year. Yes, I am that old. Um, thank you. And we figured out last night um, over a beverage that the air show will be 25 years next year, and I will be 15. How's that for some math? My dad can never say that I did poorly with math. Um, so I'm so glad you're here. The show has evolved into something big and fantastic, and the entertainment has done the same. And I'm delighted to be joined on the stage by so many great performers. And like Frank said, uh, he'll be back. Yeah, Manhattan Dolls will be back. Abbott and Costello will be here throughout the day. But for me, for the next half hour, I'm going to serenade you a little bit with songs from the era. And I'm going to be joined for most of the songs by two very good friends of mine, uh, Joe and Heidi who come down from New York City. They specialize in vintage costumes as well as vintage dancing, uh, period perfect dancing. And so you're gonna really get a taste of what the musical scene was like in a small club um, with the dancers and the singers and the bartenders and things like that. So we're gonna start out with a uh, song that I always start out with. It was written in 1926. It was performed by Al Jolson in 1927, and it continues to be performed by all of the great singers because it's a great song. This is My Hope for the Day, which I think is going to come true. It's Blue Skies. today. So by example, I would encourage you to drink a lot of water. We'd like to see you go home in the same vehicle you came in, not one with lights on the top. I turned the volume down on my iPad. You may need to turn yeah. it back up. Yeah. Um, this next song is kind of a World War II era song. It became popular towards the end of the war, especially with the soldiers who were returning um, home 
And a lot of times, you know, they had a big long airplane flight. Pl planes weren't quite as fast as they are now. And then they would often follow that up with a train journey. And so it did take a long time. Um, and so they kind of equated that with this song. This is Sentimental Journey. songs, but there were also a lot of great slow ones. This one kind of started off mid-tempo as an instrumental and didn't really gain a whole lot of traction with uh, popularity until the 50s when it was recorded as a vocal. And um, a fine lady named Etta James recorded it and shot it to the top of the charts where it remains a favorite of everyone. This is uh, originally a Glenn Miller tune. This is At Last.
You're all too kind. Thank you. Well, this next one is a favorite of mine because I discovered Ella Fitzgerald very late in the game. I was going to let it go. You can figure out what it is. You should. A tisket, a tasket, a brown and yellow basket. I sent a letter to my mommy, and on the way I dropped it. I dropped it, I dropped it. Yes, on the way I dropped it, a little girly picked it up and put it in her pocket. She was trucking on down the avenue, not a single thing to do. She was a peck, peck, pecking all around. When she spied it on the ground, she took it, she took it, my little yellow basket. And if she doesn't bring it back, I think that I will cry. some of the songs that came out of this era. Um, and this is one of my favorites. This is The Nearness of You. It's not the pale moon that excites me that thrills and delights me It's just the nearness of you.
when you're in my arms and I feel you so close to me all my wildest dreams come I need no soft lights to enchant me if you'd only grant me the up-tempo songs and leaves the balance to me, but occasionally I like to do a fast one, especially for Heidi and Joy, Joe, to show what they've got to offer as far as the vintage dancing, and this is one of the best ones for it. This is a don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing. What good is mellow? What good is music if it ain't possessing something sweet? Mm -hmm. It ain't the melody, and you know it ain't that music. Watch, 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 watch. 
people ask um, how I got involved in this music, and the honest truth is, I started listening to this music on my mom's, what my children call big black CDs. As many of you know, record albums. When I was very, very young, and I always have said that I was born too late in this in 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 life um, because I really am kind of an old-fashioned soul. So when I heard the song, I thought this has got to be my theme song. This is a song called "I'm Old Fashioned." Smooth, right? <laughs> Joe and Heidi, who I think add so much to this program. I can never, ever thank them enough because I couldn't dance my way out of paper bag if it was on fire. So they really bring something special. I also want to thank, um, I just, I, I'm totally, Erica and Randy who I was about to call Gary, everything's going crazy with my brain, um, who make me sound much better than I probably really am. Um, they put up with a lot of my craziness, and so please, if you don't mind, just a, a thank you to them for <laughs> sitting here listening to the same songs over and over and over. Um, for all of you today, again, I want to encourage you to drink a lot of water, catch as much of the show as you possibly can. I'll be back here at noon. Um, and at 3 o'clock, but if I don't see you after today, uh, or after this show, I hope you have a great day here at World War II Weekend. This last song is an American um, standard. It was recorded by three women. People think I have a pretty big voice, so I'm going to try and do what three women did all by myself. Um, my kids say I have a big mouth, so I'm going to give it a try. This is Boogie Woogie Bugle Boy. <laughs> He was a famous trumpet man from a Chicago way. He had a boogie style that no one else could play. He was a top man at his craft. But then his number came up, but he was gone with a draft. He's in the army now, blowing reveille. He's a boogie woogie bugle boy at Company B. They made him blow a bugle for his uncle Sam. They really brought him down because he could not jam. The captain seemed to understand. And 
Both vocally and visually, it is the Manhattan Dolls. Yeah.